Hello and welcome to your Happy Mean podcast and video. Today we are, a, it's pretty late at night, this is the third time I'm recording this prayer for you today, so bear with me. Uh, we are thinking about hope and today's reading invites us to be childlike. So I will do the reading. Uh, también quiero eh, bienvenir a todos los que hablan en español a que se unan a este challenge de una oración diaria antes de Navidad como para poner nuestro, nuestro corazón en un lugar de paz antes de, de los regalos y de las cenas y las mil cosas que tenemos que hacer o más bien en medio de todo eso encontrar unos minutos en silencio y todos los días como para prepararse ayer tuvimos eh, Hope Está, bueno, estamos en la semana de la esperanza Hope we're in the week of hope and we are working on a hope this week estamos esper esperando la llegada de, de Dios y qué es lo que significa eso para cada quien pues eso es, eso es diferente eh, vamos a empezar con una oración al Espíritu Santo y luego hacemos nuestras oraciones eh, prayers today are going to be offered for mothers all around the country and the cities and the world in the entire world because I think a lot of us have children sick eh, or are sick ourselves and, and that comes I've, I've heard sickness in Argentina I've heard sickness everywhere in the world so if you are one of these people good luck to you parents all parents eh, struggling with that and so that we learn from our children to to be a little bit more like them so <clears throat> in that light let's just do a quick eh, come holy spirit fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle, enkindle in them the fire of your love lord sent forth your spirit and things shall be created and uh, the reading today is from the gospel of luke la, la lectura de hoy es del evangelio de, de lucas 10 21 24 la voy a leer en inglés si quieren la pueden googlear y leerla en español Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desire to see what you see, but did not see it. And to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Uh, so I will, since it's late at night, I will give you some of my thoughts. You can take them and make a prayer out of out of them on your own. Uh, I would welcome you to to the prayer to maybe breathe. <laughs> Take a second to calm your brain out and breathe. Maybe close your eyes if you need to. Cierra tus ojos si necesitas. Respira hondo. Llena de oxígeno en la cabeza. Yo no puedo. <laughs> no tengo estoy un poco enferma but if you can take a deep deep breath and send oxygen everywhere eh, in your body the oxygen helps us clear the mind empty the mind and don't let your mind run away stay here with me as we set ourselves in God's presence which is really everywhere uh, more tangible in the sacrament of the Eucharist but if you are not there right now which I assume you're not 
realize that God is here. Here, wherever here is for you, wherever here is for me, he is here. And he has the, the ropes of your horse, <laughs> the horse being your life. And y, bueno, te, te invito a, a ponerte en la presencia de Dios y a darte cuenta de que Dios está en todos lados, no solo aquí, más bien, no solo aquí en mi casa, <ríe> también en la tuya. Y, y más, más uh, concretamente en la Eucaristía. And I'm going to invite you that when I switch to a different language that is not your own, you take that and maybe mute me <laughs> for a few seconds. Come back after. Uh, make it your own prayer. Where is God? Uh, God's hand more present in your life. And as you think of this, think of children and how excited they get when the tooth fairy is going to bring money. Somebody forgot. And a Santa and all of those things. It's, it's very exciting to, to think of something out there bigger than themselves and bringing them something. And it, it is stories, child stories that we tell. But they are also, I think there's something in, in us, inside of nature, in all of us, that is always looking and hoping and waiting for the end. We know the end is coming, but we hope there's more to this. Many people have... Many philosophers have come up with different ideas. Many religions have ha have their own idea of what the afterlife looks like. We as Christians here, we get to hope in someone concrete, someone who has walked this earth, someone who has given us his mother to take care of us. And how safe is that to have his stories placed in a book for us, uh, teaching us how to walk through, through life, and maybe what are we missing in that childlike mindset? What do we not, what do adults lose that children don't? Children eventually lose it. I guess it's an innocence or a, a way of seeing life, maybe not as a game. Uh, maybe some humility from knowing everything. Adults, we think we know everything sometimes. And I think children, no, they don't. <laughs> they, they know they depend on somebody to feed them and to and to do pretty much everything for them. So this is, this is a hope that we want to acquire in this week. A hope that knows that everything that is meant for us is going to be given to us by God. And it's going to bring us peace. Sometimes in strange ways, Sometimes in ways we don't understand it, but at the end of the day, in is going to be what brings us the most joy at the end of the day. And if it's not joy, if it's suffering, which I know a lot of people are going through some suffering, I hope that your suffering is not being wasted and that you can offer the suffering for the suffering of others uh, and that equally somebody suffering something for you and for you to to be strong to learn your lesson from this this season of your life everything comes in seasons I think in life so take it take it knowing that 
these two shall pass. Um, and then, if you if you have faith and hope that Jesus is is going to, or that you're in the hands of a of a father that loves you, the same way that a little baby cuddles in with their mom and knows that everything is okay there. In the same way we can cuddle there with with God and Mary's hands. <clears throat> They're all very present there to comfort us when we can't be comforted uh, in the outside world. And that's very that's a very nice thing about prayer. Uh, to find the comfort and the warmth. And if you're one of those lucky people that can see see that and that you have faith, congratulations, <laughs> rejoice. Rejoice because Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and he gave praise and he was happy to know him. And to be quite honest, the only thing I can think about when I read this last few words because many prophets and kings desired to see what you see and did not see it. I only think of Socrates and Plato. Naturally. I know you were thinking of that too. But those guys couldn't meet Christ. And they had... They, in their... Their... Th thinking, Aristotle too. They were getting to it. They were getting so close, and then Christ came after. Probably years later, to, I don't know how many years. I don't, I'm not really good with dates, which is why I'm not a history professor. Also, I haven't done enough history. I'm really bad with it. But there is, Then Christ came and he was the answer to all of those questions that many had had. And even now today, a lot of people keep thinking on, on what's the world and what the world's going to be like. And it's nice to think, I'm not going to lie, I enjoy those conversations. But I have the peace to have the king already <laughs> on my side. And that's, that's really cool. So if you don't have faith, join us next week. We're going to have faith week next week. Uh, if, you, if you hope that your faith grows, I encourage you to keep praying. I think in prayer is where we grow our faith. Uh, there's also one, one little act that I do when I go to, or one thing I say every time I enter a church and I genuflect, I say, God, increase my faith. Or make me love you more. And it seems to be working. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I don't know if it's working great. I'm not saying I have the, the hugest faith. But it, he seems to support me in that, in that regard. When I have my biggest doubts, something, something comes in to say, no, 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 don't doubt. So, that's all. That's all I can give you today. Thank you for joining Prior Time and have a good night.